So today, I'm going to read scripture to you, then we're going to pray. We're going to keep it short and simple. Romans 12 verse 2 says, Do not copy the behaviors and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way that you think. Then you will learn to know God's will, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Let's pray. Father God, we just want to come before you and just say thank you, God. Thank you that you are good and faithful and that you are loving. Thank you, God, that you don't judge us by the things that we've done in the past. God, you, you say as far as the East is from the West, so far our sins, our faults, our mistakes, our, our struggles are separated from us. So God, I pray that you would just allow us to truly transform our minds by getting into the word, by talking to you through prayer, by trusting that you will Open up the door, Father God, as we are just going through this week, Father God, of getting into position, Lord. I pray that we truly would get into position by transforming the way that we think, God. Lord, I pray that you would do something big this year for each and every one of us, so long as we are abiding by your word and doing what you say. You said, Father God, that obedience will, be, will bring blessings all throughout your scripture. You say it, God. So, Lord, we stand on what your word says. We know that your word does not return back void. So, Father God, when you say no weapon formed against us will prosper, Father God, we believe it. We receive it. Father God, when you say as far as the east is from the west, so our sins for years that we've been carrying can be separated from us, we believe it. When you say in your word, Father God, that you are making ways in the desert lands and rivers, Father God, in the wilderness, Lord Jesus, we believe you. God, we trust in what your word says. We thank you, God, that you say in your word, you will never leave us nor forsake us. We thank you, God, that you say that you have plans to prosper us, Father God. But we can't receive any of those things if we're not renewing our mind. So teach us, Lord. Show us. Remind us what that looks like daily. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that does bring back to remembrance these things. Father God, bless us and keep us covered in your word. Allow us to have an awesome and amazing, productive day. We pray all these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I hope you have an awesome and amazing day. And don't forget, it's never too late to get into position. It's never too late to walk in that path that God is calling you to walk on. Hope you have an awesome and amazing blessed day.